the B side. Let's see what Kellis can do for us here. See has his dash. This could be big. Let's see the trigger discipline again. Yeah, he's been here for quite some time. That's the first kill. He's gonna dash up and try and get nice. some more. That's nice play to oh, get onto the silver. It's a beautiful triple kill, but the sage puts it down. Spike not looking to be shut down here. The wall is a good one, but the spike wasn't in hand when the wall went up, so G2 have had plenty of time to break and work around this wall. In fact, Mixwell's gonna try and peek a little bit wider. The momenta wins oh. out the dual Egmies, mostly in hand. Oh, not really having that much, but they find the first kill with a classic of all time. Kellogg's out for the fight. G2 lines up a couple more. And the classics are making things a little bit more costly for G2, and the Sheriff now brings it to a 2 versus 2. G2 trying to pin her, but they're quite far away. Yeah, we see a Boba coming through the back. And Nuki coming through CT. Let's see what they can do because they gotta. They kind of sandwich. They want. They, they want to sandwich them at least. They don't have info on their positioning. The spike is planting, and is the, the clock's ticking. Is the killjoy going to expect a wrap round? Yeah, the alarm bot's there to play off. So nice. now they're in a position. They've probably picked up a couple of guns off the ground. A bit of a jiggle peek to get some info. The Volver actually loses help that fight. This is a round that's gone a little bit wrong for G2. Nuki can still bail him out, but needs to work out exactly where this killjoy is playing from. Sees the arm again. The jiggle peek is nice. Oh. Does a bit of damage. Six pellets left in the gun for Nuki. The sheriff, uh, the ghost, even is there to get the kill, but they can't claim the round. The spike is any mistakes, and there's the first one really of this stage. Quite early on in this tournament, but it's better to get those kind of round losing mistakes out early and not when it counts. Now Kellogg's does have the blade storm. The Eldron is going to try and scout some information, and lasts quite a while before it ends up getting destroyed. I like to so I'm still trying to take the fight. And Spike hasn't gone down just yet for grow up. I have a bit of time to work with and are looking to rotate. Yeah, and Nuki is actually the first one to rotate from G2. Whole squad of up rotating as well. They find Cold Amenta on me. And uh, they're ready to attack on A. On a this execute might become anytime soon. Care, Nuki, care. Oh. Nuki's there waiting for him. He has only when he has a spike on the ground. Kills him to get the position. And it uh, eventually works out to be nice, and he should spot it. He should, and he will, but he will not have the firepower to end with his life. He doesn't even have 42 HP. Next will finish his position. More playing about the information. The Viper's Pit, though, the worst nightmare for any op player. There's no sightline that he's able to try and grab. And G2 somehow need to be able to clear this through. The lockdown is going to provide a bit more breathing space overall for grow up, and a bit more time for that spike to tick down. Also, that uh, Viper's Pit, reducing all that info and all that sight for them. We're gonna really play around it. Oh, uh, Kellogg's is having a rough them. time with yeah. his ult. This is every shot they need to hit. Luckily, Nucky's there to try and bail him out, but this spike is really starting to tick down to a position that might not be there to be handled. Morty protecting the spike, still loses the draw against Nucky. Trying to heal up, but the decay is constantly bringing him down. Kellogg saving the operator, not able to get one kill with it at all. Also, now all of that space, Evolve is still going to push, but the killjoy is right around the corner. He does oh. check it, but kicks at the better sort of crosshair placement to win that fight and takes out Evolve. Still, the team hasn't decided what to do now on this uh, situation, this 5 before situation. They care because um, Kellogg's may have their own here. Okay, he hits the first one. Nice. Off to a good start. I'm gonna change up the angle. It's nice yeah. to not assume that he can play from the same position twice. The resurrect is nice. good. Egmis goes down shortly afterwards as the peak nice. comes in again. This is much better from the upper. It's gonna be a much trickier shot to try and get onto a jumping jet with a blade storm in hand. The idea was there, but the operator now in the hands of Marty. He'll be holding on to Snowman, tries to peek onto Cold Amenta, he's going to keep going wider and wider, catches the Viper that planted the Spike, and now we're in a 3 versus 2. Morty, low health but with an up in hand, is going to have his sightline broken from this toxic screen. It allows Mixwell to play around it perfectly, he's going to go hunting. Eldron is going to lead the line, that you thought he needs to come out early now because of the threat of the Operator, but it's not quite here. All they're going to see is that Sage. They won't know that the jet's coming through. 
Kellogg's tries to go for the audacious, but unfortunately, Kiss is there to shut him down. He's been doing a pretty decent job of that so far. The dismiss is there from Nookie to get himself out, but the final shot just catches him as he goes through. Looks like the Resurrect is going to be there. And yet again, this Killjoy from Grow Up is doing quite a lot of work to keep these maps and rounds very even in numbers. Yeah, but look at this, Chad. Look at Morty here on this on mid. The spoiler. Oh, this is crazy. Ooh, nice. Morty now just holding on to that position. The rest of the team can plant. There's another lockdown available. And Nookie with the Empress isn't going to have any captors. Kiz goes down, and now it's up to Kidka. And they're going to expect him in this position. They're going to drop down, and yeah, they just check it in time. Nicely played over. Rokopsi's going to try and slip on through. They managed to scare away G2 from this position, but with these kind of lower guns, it's going to be hard to break on through. Toxic screen hasn't been placed just yet, but with 30, 30 seconds, seconds, it's going to be a dead giveaway that this is the site that's going to be hit. A little bit's going to roll up into the A few more boundaries in their way, and Nucky actually managed to get the kill through the smoke. Tries to peek for more. And Kidda does get the kill with the Sheriff before Nucky can get few more than two kills. This Killjoy man has been a yes. real thorn in the side for G2. Yeah, and she was waiting on mid to create that pressure, and also waiting maybe if they needed to use the lockdown. They're not gonna! They only need the sheriffs! One versus two. We've had a lot of bright moments from him, but this would be a great one to add to the tally. Tries to touch the peak, you see what utility can force out. It forces out a peak to open, peaks back to safety just in the nick of time. And jumps peaks to see where Morty is. And Nucky yet again playing off this angle can get a kill and dismiss if he wants to. But if he gets it wrong, it's another easy kill for Grow Up to you take. Run. Yeah, they're using that lockdown as a complete bait to see if they over rotate, but they have the info. Oh, Nucky falls over, waiting for the aggressive, maybe for the push. On to A side, Karaboba. It's pretty sold out here. Oh, never mind, never mind. Opening. They line up okay, never mind. for him. And just as the time was starting to set on G the Sage, the healer. He just got the round. I thought he was sold out. Never mind. It's just still a boba. Get out of my way. Here. Feels very much like a G2 round there. Mm. Nice to see it come back into decent success. And look how with the operator is able to do a little bit more. Shutting down some of these problematic players. One by one, and this is almost the ace there with the operator. He had a bit of a slower start, but is able to blow up this grow up roster as they were making their way onto the A site. It's just one left to put down. Nucky's able to twirl and put another Viper's pit over in A. The Operator winning out against the Marshal on Tomati. Kellogg still hungry for more. The oh, Bladestorm's gonna be added, right? He's gonna no. wanna hold on to it, and he's able to still get a few more. Can't quite line up these kills as they wanted, but that's a nice one onto Eggbees that peeks out of the toxic screen. Now, Vova's kind of lost in some dangerous positions. Now, trying to play off the wall. Cold ah. Emitter is there to. Let's see what we can do without our controller. Especially Maybe if Kellogg's can just yeah. twist the knife if he can get into this back line. He is going to run into egg mix. Down. Doesn't quite clean it up as precisely left. as he might have expected, but he can at least make sure that the kill, or attempted kill, doesn't come back to haunt him. Yeah, it's still having the, the attention. Walls, yeah, the Viper is also forced to bring their attention. And Kellogg's is going to head the rotates. Yeah, but Viper was smart enough to just wait for the rest of the team. They just don't know of Kellogg's position, and he gets one, he gets the other one for HP, only for him. And this wreck up C. He's got a hard task before him. Recops, Mixwell. Oh my god. Well, the jet is just gonna sneak on by. Mixwell getting in a taste of his own medicine from the previous game. I really want to see that knife come in, but I don't think either of these teams want to not take it too seriously. Yeah, I mean, it's Kellogg flashy. Is it the right thing to do? It would have been fun to watch. Yes, definitely. And now this is another round where it One seems that sort the of problems for G2 are starting to unravel and unravel incredibly quickly. 
Uh, Volva has an opening to plant the spike, but needs to try and make sure that the area around him is safe enough. Because these crop players are starting to loom. This position has been pulsed. Not all that much utility to use to try and slow this down. Oh, oh. Trying to pick up another gun, and that's a nice shot at least onto Marty. But he cleans the Viper. They're pretty split for being an icebox. I'm sorry. That was an awful pun. It's fine. <laughs> You're starting to get into it. I don't know how many bad puns you have on the Spanish broadcast, but... You don't know my colleague Sergio Ferra is just amazing at it. But yeah. I, 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 I need to learn Spanish, apparently, because I feel like I'm missing out on that broadcast. But this game could be enjoyed from anybody. It's universal in all languages. It's kind of like Mr. Bean. Spike We're talking about their position, and they managed to get the spike planted. And uh, that rest comes in from uh, Bobo, who's having a great icebox this afternoon. Online already. And, oh, look at Kellogg's here. He's coming from the back. He's just not gonna leave him alone. He only needs a marshal. I mean, a marshal's cheaper. If you can have yeah. this much success with it, you can make it work. Not quite hitting a headshot that time. Kid uh, takes the chance One and runs with it. I'm just up to the silver, last alive. The spike probably has about 15 seconds left before it defuses. Or blooms even, it doesn't defuse. Volva finishes it off. The it gets harder. And if harder only means uh, maybe a three round difference, then I guess I'll sign for that. See what they can do. Maybe they'll close this up because the economy is not looking good for grow up. I'll be interested on the middle part again. Thanks for watching this angle. Loses that fight against Marty, there's been a lot of times where he's been caught out in the middle of this icebox map across both games that we've seen. With that Viper's pit on A and this aggressive hold in mid and constantly G2 players going down. Seems that the, the ideas and plans for G2 are starting to fall apart just a little more. At least seeing Kellogg's trying to make a lot of noise over on B, maybe force a few rotates, maybe try and Gain the attention of this group team, but they're not really biting. Requires Cold Dementor to take a few of these fights okay. and is able to win a couple in mid. Now there's a bit more room to finesse themselves. G2 able to work around it. You've got Nucky all the way in the corner watching A for the rotates. Kellogg's making sure that every part of that B site is clean and the spike is going to follow. And Nuki just guarding any pushes from A and also mid, but they're not going to be there. Let's see, Kellogg's he's been walking around this B side. It's fun to find the first one, and Nuki just finishes. Arrow's coming in, and he has to move. The Astro Utility coming in, and Morty's going to try and slip through it. Evolver's there to try and win out the fight, and it's the Killjoy that eventually breaks him down. Now Mixwell is up on the high ground, Kellogg's up on the low. Down Kellogg's position given up. Now Mixwell is still left on the site. Nobody's quite checked his position. The shots aren't necessarily connecting as well as he was hoping. Could only get one out with the four players that he spotted. Now up to Nucky. Still has the paint shell. Throws it in. Hotline not going to quite connect. Walk back at least to stairs or maybe to CT. Play with me. Let's increase our chances here. Because it might come here. Yes. And the other one. It's a good call as well. The rolling thunder goes onto the site. Doesn't catch that much. For recon that, however. Let's get a good amount of information, but the wall bangs, the shots through the smokes can't quite get onto their targets. Morty's playing up close, Ooh. actually goes on to Kellogg's, who tries to updraft out of the way. Unfortunately, unable to get that far. The rest of G2 now, trying to work out where these last grow up players are. They're all on the site. They have to take this carefully. There could potentially be a player in B main in their eyes, but his retake is clean. Great Cops was the last alive. There's three survive the position and on A short. I don't know where they are, mates. This camera lineup is up in the air and catches on to some grow up information. Trip by can't be dashed through anymore. Mixwell punishes the recent change. The kids trades out the teammate. Kellogg's now up drafting a little bit higher than he did last time to dodge the shock down and does so for the most part. Now all of this utility coming in to see if they can sort of land in. Trying to bait some shots in the air potentially, the recon dart is available for Cold Dementor to use. We're seeing all this new stuff starting to come out, the new aftershot, Kellogg's through the smoke. Knows that somebody's there, has done a little bit of damage, oh, but my God. can't confirm the kill. But Cold is now here with the Odin. Kiz, broken through the smoke, the triple kill with a gun, you love to see it, and we love to see that. 
Number four. And it's gonna set Kellogg up to take a bit more space. He knows where Kiz is gonna be, but isn't gonna wall bank oh pick my up that position because the Odin is there, oh, yeah. of course, to do that very same thing. Not a play that you see all that often, if at all. Goldamente is looking to add Jesus. more, gets the triple kill with the Odin and Kellogg, who's been holding into mid. He's gonna clean up the rest of house. Last alive is gonna be Eggmees. Cosmic Divide is gonna come in along with the lockdown, it's gonna clear up perfectly. This B side, Hunter's Fury now is going oh, to use the cross. Oh. And it actually does get the kill onto Kidga. Holdament has been good at getting kills confirmed at this point, but doesn't aim for the lockdown. Luckily, nobody on G2 was detained, so that seems to be part of the plan. And look at Nixwell, the oh. tempo. Trying to play around this Cosmic Divide in on the site. Switching from either side, winning out the jewels as needed. There's one player left on the site, and it's a player kiss that's not even looking in that general direction. They've been able to take was the pistol and around following. Nothing since has been all G2. Kellogg's been hitting those shots all day, but this time can't quite manage oh, no. it. And the threat of Cold Mentor on short, wall banging all the way into B lobby is a scary prospect. And A is under this pressure. G2 are still comfortably holding on to it, and have over Cold Mentor playing on the site, willing to take the deals as they come in. Spike down A. Oh my god, Cold Mentor. Double care for him. There was no way they could get in on A. It was. A they can either rotate extremely fast. We'll see that recon falling. That's a fake. But Nuke is not buying it. They're ready for this hit. Rolling Thunder. I don't actually think connect comes to pull the magic because he's so close. So there's the Odin spam coming through and the recon that as well. This is the five head map for him. They expected that Rolling Thunder to come through. It did so and they absolutely <laughs> pressure. Recon Dart is good, Cold Dementor has his position given up and Ghost on to 30 HP. Yastra just peeks at the perfect time to catch him whilst he's using utility. Kellogg sees where the Great. jet is just as the blade storm's used. I'm trying to work out where the breach is. Oh, and the fact that he beautiful. sort of baits that, he doesn't run away, he still dedicates. Who is this kid? He's absolutely ripping apart this grow up team. Looks to be one of the future stars of G2, but Nucky, you can't forget about him either. The showstopper comes in, Eggmees last alive, suddenly making it very interesting in the one versus two, but Evolver's there water up away from that spot. Too soon. But the Kellogg's is playing there too is an interesting yeah. one. Recops runs out into the open, is the first to die, and a attempted trade is there, at least from the jet. Morty. Doesn't fall victim to the operator or the shock darts, but it's the ghost that comes out secondary for Kellogg's. The mid and mid pressure now attempted from Grot, but really they haven't made any progress into various parts of the map, and G2 are picking them apart bit by bit. Yeah, they don't look like they're having any trouble. It's just uh, what we saw just in B. It's just another way to initiate, another way to support your teammate. Like, I'm gonna give you full coverage. Hit to the ends. Nuke is live here. Remaining, but they're completely sold out here. Jump on through. He said, I like Mitch too, just to make that perfectly clear. <laughs> I know you do, I know you do. Morty! It's Mixwell here. But he has his ultimate, but he doesn't. Let's see Colamenta here with his Odin, especially when the wall falls. Dude. He's waiting for his team to get I'd some like to support. See a bit more nooky. That's oh, well, oh. I said, I, as I said, Anything that else? is. Cup of tea? Win the lottery kind of thing. Threat, at least for this G2 lineup. They're heading to A. Morty's going to peek out onto Mixwell, who was more focused on mid than short. Sightline Again, Mixwell is punished. Um, on mid. Is this going to yeah. be a concept? <laughs> we'll see. Mixwell on mid. Let's see how we go. Kellogg here with this position and the paranoia is just perfect. It's just a, a, a bull bound on Omen. He's always been, he was in Heretics, and he has, he looks like he wants to be the same in, uh, for G2. It's good to see Omen back. It'd be nice to see a healthy mix. Morty getting a day isn't going to end with a Kellogg Ace. To be honest, he's done more than enough to yes. impress the lineups, and this is just another play to add on top of the collection he's got today. Definitely, he can make a whole video just uh, based on these two matches. Be free to do it. And, uh, I'm lucky he ran out of bullets. It's paranoia, so no doubt he's there at all. Morty's Spike taking down, no chances. Or she's aggressively called him, it's not expecting it. He falls in line to Kellogg's. Yeah, it's Bit still... Of a, a main push, but that's about it. Yeah. 
Looks like Miss Mix will wall in the middle, especially after they got that kill. Beware of B. And Astra with all that setup. Kellogg is still cleaning. Okay. Maxwell got mid. This is why you can't let Maxwell get mid. He's going to continue that pressure now. Kellogg's actually moving over to B. There's only one player left alive in that position. It's going to be Eggmees. He's not going to be caught out. The paranoia perfect again for a Bulver. He's trying to hold on and actually does win out the duel against the Omen, who closes the distance, really. Now let's see if he can actually clutch this out. Over on the B site, Mixwell is in mid and very low health. The Cyber Cage is going to at least keep Keys aware that there's an enemy nearby. Tripwire is going to spot, he's going to check it, see if he can get onto market, isolate these fights. It's Mixwell taken down, but a bit more time is ticked away. Nucky, he set the alarm bot off to see what he can scout, maybe up towards the back end, but Keys is coming the other way. Peeks around the corner, and he's very paranoid that Nucky's going to be playing from another position. But he's clo playing close. The Blast Pack's going to give away that spot. Blast Pack is detonated. And really, Nucky's just playing for time at this point. He tries to stick it. There's only so much he can do. No